Okay, welcome back to another five minutes and this time about creating circles as a shape using procedural way. So how to create a circle? I will show you three ways to do it. Um, the easy way is just pressing shift A and then go to texture and here we have something called gradient. So if we just find gradient texture as you can see here and change this to spherical and take that from UV from that and put the, you can take the factor to the surface you get almost a circle. The thing with the circle is that you should have the center should be zero so we should put the center here and have more white out here so type one out here and to do that we can use the math that we learned in I think the second session where we subtract and then multiply so I press shift a converter vector math put it in here and then I subtract with 0 0.5 and you can see now that the circle is moving a bit and then I multiply with 2 so shift d and I multiply with 2 and you have a circle so this is the easy way to do it it's even easier just if someone is pointing out that you can just drag from the object here but right now it's working with UV so we have to use these two in this case okay so can we recreate this in another way yes we can we can use uh, we start from this point because every way we do it we need to have zero in the center we can start here and we can use something called length in the vector math and put that in here and it will be almost the same thing the only thing we have to do is to subtract here as well so shift a convert the math and then we subtract this with one and we do that you can't see any difference between gradient texture as we have here and the length that we have here. We can also look at the math behind the length. Normally you don't do that math because we have everything here. But as a good thing to know, just for fun, is that it looks like this. So I can separate this into the X and the Y. So shift A, separate X, Y, Z, you have it here. Then I can use a power node here. Power is multiplying with what we have here, the number that we have here. So if I have four and here is two here, that means four uh, multiplied with four because I multiply that number two times. So I will do that with X direction and I will use that with the Y direction. And then I will just add those two together. So shift A, convert the math, and I add them together like this. Then uh, I get something that is circular, like you can see here, but it's not perfect uh, because if I change, uh, take this uh, length here and just combine it, you can see it's smaller here. So we need to do something more, and that is a square root here. So shift D to copy and change this into a square root and I think you can find that as well here somewhere you can find it here so square root and then you have it here and if I now change it to this you can see they are exactly the same so all I need now is this subtract here so I can press shift D take it in here and subtract it one so now you have three methods so we have method one which is the base math so both the gradient texture and the length has behind the curtains this formula here so power 2 power 2 for x and y add them together make a square root subtract one you get this result so the next is the gradient exactly the same result as you can see with this math behind and the final version is then the length exactly the same if i drag it out here so now you know how to create a circle out of a procedural texture in three different ways but it is essential it's the same way just different ways to know to reach them 
Okay, that was five minutes and I see you in the next chapter. So bye for now.